heard, Samsung DeX is a desktop-like software on all Galaxy devices, and it's been a feature that's been on these devices for the last two or three years or so now. But not until recently have people started to use Samsung DeX in place of their laptops or PCs. I'm gonna show you today how you can use Samsung DeX in an amazing at-home work setup that's also very portable. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, now we're gonna jump into all the different things that I use in this setup and all the things that you might wanna have. So if you haven't heard of what Samsung DeX is, it's basically a desktop-like software that you can use basically to transform your phone or tablet into a desktop-like experience, still running on Android, but feeling a little bit more like a Mac or Windows machine. So the first device is going to be your phone or tablet. These are the things that you can use to run Samsung DeX either on the device itself or on an external monitor or TV. So I'm rocking the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. You can also get the Tab S8 or S8 Ultra. Those are definitely gonna be a great option for you. You're also gonna wanna have some Bluetooth devices like a mouse and a keyboard. You can have them wired if you have a USB hub connected into your tablet, but I find Bluetooth is just a lot simpler if you're going to be on the go, you're not going to want to have a lot of cables to be plugging in and plugging into your phone. So freeing it up with a Bluetooth keyboard is definitely a great option. So the keyboard I have is a low profile mechanical keyboard. It's the Keychron K3. I've loved this keyboard. You can switch out the, you can switch out the key switches so you can have different fills, which is very cool to have hot swappable on a low profile keyboard. I'll make sure to put the link down in the description for the K3 keyboard so that you can check it out and see if that's something that you want to buy. So my other two must have accessories if you're going to actually have a nice Samsung deck setup is going to be a mouse. And I think it's also nice to have a wrist rest, although that is not something you have to have. So the mouse that I have is the MX Master 2S Bluetooth mouse. It's very handy. You can put all kinds of extra key bindings on this thing. So definitely great to have for a Mac, Windows, or a Samsung deck setup like this one. So this is the Delta Hub Carpio 2.0 wrist rest. This thing is awesome and I've gotten so used to it, I can't live without it. So what you do is you just put it on your wrist like this and what it does is alleviate any pressure that you have from your desk resting on the edge of it on your wrist. So it keeps it up and when you're moving around with your mouse, it slides easily with these pads right here. So it's definitely a great product to have. That's the Delta Carpio 2.0 wrist rest. Now another product I think is very useful is to have some sort of way of listening to audio and I think that is Galaxy Buds since it's a Galaxy device. Any Bluetooth headphones will work, but I think these work great with Samsung devices. I've definitely loved them. So make sure you get something like that. I'll link all these down in the description below. Now I'm gonna show you my full Samsung Duck setup. And keep in mind, your setup might be different than mine. You might have um, a phone that you're using rather than a tablet. I found that using a tablet with an external monitor is the best option for you that you can have for a Samsung Duck setup. So this is the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. I have a matte screen protector. It's an anti-glare smudge screen protector. It's super awesome. I'll make sure to link that below. And for Samsung DeX, having that external monitor is definitely crucial in my opinion. You can do a lot more productivity having two screens rather than one. If this is gonna be something that's gonna replace your laptop, you definitely wanna have that screen real estate. So I opted to go with the WeMaxit 15.6 inch touchscreen monitor. It is a awesome FHD display. It's super clear, beautiful contrast, and the colors are very vibrant as well as very accurate. I think this is a great product coming in at just around 200 bucks on Amazon. It is very useful to have with Samsung DeX because with a single cable, you can transfer the data of the video for Samsung DeX as well as the touch inputs you can have you know, five fingers at a time on the screen. 
You can even use a stylus on the portable touchscreen monitor, but keep in mind, it's not gonna work with your S Pen from a Note device or using your tablet's S Pen or other uh, form of Galaxy S Pen because it's just not um, compatible. That is a Bluetooth connection between your phone or your tablet, so it's not gonna work with the portable touchscreen monitor. So moving on to how you're gonna set up your monitor and your tablet. Now you can have one of those magnetic stands for an external monitor, and I find those work okay, but you really have to look down at the screen in order to, you know, do your work, and it's gonna find, you're not gonna have great ergonomics with your neck. So the setup that I have right here, I have a Lulu look stand. It's a beautiful stand, very high quality, and you definitely pay the price for it because it is uh, a very nice aluminum body and it has magnetic to it. So instead of having these big clamps on the side of your tablet or phone, all you have to do is just slap it on there right onto the magnets and it's gonna stay very secure. So the way I have this portable monitor set up on top of my tablet, I'm using the 10-1 Design Clips. It's a Mounty Plus, and it works great to be able to put on a laptop with your phone or having a laptop with a portable monitor or an iPad. These clips are very universal. You can switch the thickness of how much padding you wanna have on the clip itself. So it's very versatile for what type of devices you wanna use it with. I was able to use it with my tablet, with the stand on there, as well as putting that WeMax it portable monitor in between, sandwiching it on top. So I have a vertical with horizontal screens up and down, straight eye level for that portable monitor. It works perfectly and it looks great too. So make sure to check out the Mounty Plus. I'll link that down in the description below. So we've talked about the external monitor, the tablet or phone that you're gonna use for DeX. We've talked about Bluetooth devices like a keyboard and mouse that is very helpful to have when you're using DeX. Now, let's talk about how you're gonna connect it all up. So for one, if you have a tablet or a phone, it's gonna have a battery in there. And if you plug it into an external monitor, it's not gonna have enough juice to, con to power up that monitor. It's probably gonna flicker unless that monitor itself has a battery, which usually you're not gonna find a battery in a portable monitor unless you're going upwards of two or $250 or more. So what I've opted to do is get a battery bank and connect it with some double-sided adhesive, which these are basically like a plastic Velcro you can pull apart. So they're definitely really nice because you can take it off if you want to, to remove that and charge it on its own. But what I've done here is I've put it on the back of the Lulu Look stand, and it works really great because I can plug in right behind the stand. You won't even see it from the front. And I run the cables from the top of that right into the side of the monitor, and then through the USB-C to USB-C from the monitor to the tablet, it's charging the tablet as well. So powering the monitor and charging the tablet all through this power bank that I have mounted to the back of the stand. So the way I have this set up is it's very easy to take apart if you wanna have it on the go. All you have to do is take off that monitor, take the clip off, put that in a bag, put your tablet in a bag as well, and then get the stand in there as well. So super simple. All you have to do to set it up, put the stand out, put the tablet on there, clip, monitor, put the cables in, and you're good to go. Now that we've talked about the stand and how it's all set up, let's talk about what you can do with Samsung DeX. What are the great things about it as far as software and what are the limitations? So Samsung DeX, as you know, a lot of people use it to replace their desktop PC or their MacBook. I, I find uh, being a software engineer, I'm not quite able to do that. But later in the video, I will show you some progress that I've made to be able to run VS Code 
with a browser displaying a React web application side by side in Samsung DeX. Now, if you're not a software engineer, maybe this isn't interesting to you. It's actually pretty impressive considering these things are only possible on an, a dedicated operating system like Windows, Linux, or Mac. So are you gonna be able to use Samsung DeX to replace your laptop? Uh, I would say it depends on how you're using your PC right now. If you're somebody that uses mostly browser-based applications, I would say Samsung DeX is definitely gonna be for you. <clears throat> I would even say if you're a YouTuber that makes YouTube videos like myself, you can get away with using Samsung DeX to not only um, film your videos and edit those videos, but produce them as well. I'm actually making this video on this setup right here using PowerDirector as my video editing software. So make sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of the editing and if you use PowerDirector as well. I think if your full-time job requires any application on your computer that is a little bit more of a heavy load, something that isn't available on mobile um, apps, so if you're not gonna find it in the Google Play Store or it's not something you can use on the web, it might be difficult to be able to use it in Samsung DeX. If you're someone that usually is just spending time answering emails or searching the web, it's definitely a very useful product Samsung DeX software has become so similar to Windows that it really is hard to recognize the difference. Even moving apps to the bottom of the toolbar, you can pin those there. You can see your recent apps that you've opened. You can move thing, apps from the app drawer onto your desktop of Samsung DeX. It really is very similar to a Windows UI of a uh, full Windows 10, Windows 11 operating system. So I think if you're used to that, you might as well make the switch to Samsung DeX. You might have a few restrictions, but overall, I think it is something that is definitely coming to be a very useful software product that a lot of people are starting to use. Okay, so if you're a software engineer or if you wanna see a full desktop-like application being used on Samsung DeX, I'm gonna show you that right now but before I do, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing for more videos like this. I love Samsung DeX and I'm gonna be showing a lot more videos of the things that I found out about it and showing you different ways that you can use Samsung DeX. Okay, so jumping right into this, this has been something I have been very passionate about for the last few months or so. I made a video on coding um, VS Code on your phone two years ago and it's since changed quite a bit, although the fundamental principles are still there. But I'm gonna show you how you can run a VS Code web app on your tablet and be able to pull a repository from GitHub and be able to make changes of the code, push it up into the cloud of GitHub and locally see in the browser a React application. So let's check it out. And I will let you know, I'm not gonna show the step-by-step -step details of how to do all of this, but I'll show it off. And in the next video that I'm gonna be publishing coming up in the next few days, I'll show off each step into how to set this up on your own Samsung DeX, either a tablet or a phone. You can even use this on an iPad. So check out those videos coming up. Make sure to subscribe. All right, so getting right into it, here is VS Code running on my tablet in a web app. And here right next to it is the actual code that I have in VS Code that is pulled from GitHub. And this is a React application that I'm using with TypeScript, SCSS, and I can make changes and push those up to GitHub and refresh the browser and see those locally. So the way that this magic is actually happening is through something called Code Server. It allows you to have VS Code in a browser window and as well as using Railway. So Railway is a hosting service. Basically, you can spin up a project and that can have a repository in there. So what's happening is in Railway, you can run a project, you can run a deploy of Linux, which is running Code Server, and that allows you to view it in any browser and be able to download that as a web app 
and using a special proxy service that they have, you can use a specific port to see in your local browser the changes that you've made in that VS Code window. So it's definitely kind of confusing um, just saying it out loud, but the more you learn about it, it does make sense. But I'm not gonna get into all the specific details, but basically subscribe so you'll see that next video of how to run Code Server on a tablet as well as a iPad or your phone. With all that being said, thank you again for watching this video. It took a long time to make. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more quality videos like this one. Let me know what you thought of my Samsung Deck setup. I love it and I'm definitely excited to use it more. The more I learn about Samsung DeX and specifically doing software engineering on Samsung DeX gets me excited for the future. I know that this is not something that's going away. Our phones are gonna be taking over our laptops eventually and it's gonna be a great thing to see. Also, let me know if you have any experience with Samsung DeX, how you use it, as well as if you've used Code Server, let me know down in the description. With all that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, and one more thing, make sure to hit that like button. All of the products that I mentioned and all the products that I use on a daily basis are linked down in the description. I have other videos about these tech products that you're definitely gonna wanna go check out. I love these. If you haven't noticed, I love Space Gray, I love Walnut and Black. That's kind of my theme that I like to go with. So if that's something that you like as well, I have a lot of other products that are matching those. So that aesthetic. So subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.